All right, let's kick things off with a biggie, having something to offer. Have you ever really pondered on this point? Why would anyone be drawn to you if you have nothing to contribute to the equation? Let's dive a little deeper. The first step to being attractive to others is offering something unique, something different. It's not about superficial things like your appearance or material possessions. Rather, it's about the essence of who you are. It's your character, your personality, your talents, your passions. This what truly makes you interesting to others. Ask yourself, what is it that sets you apart from the crowd? Is it your infectious laughter that can lighten up even the gloomiest of days? Or perhaps it's your ability to empathize with others, making them feel heard and valued. Could it be your impressive culinary skills that can turn simple ingredients into a gastronomic delight? Or maybe you are a master problem solver, able to solutions where others only see roadblocks. These are not just traits or skills. They are your superpowers. They are what make you, you. And that's what makes you desirable, attractive, chased after. So don't hide these qualities. Instead, embrace them, cultivate them, and let them shine for all to see. Remember, it's not about becoming someone else. It's about being the best version of yourself. That's when you truly stand out. So take some time to reflect on what makes you awesome. Whatever it is, own it and let your light shine. Next on our agenda, we delve into the subject of achieving success in your professional life. Now, I'm certain you've already formulated an opinion on this. Success isn't everything, correct? And you're spot on. Nevertheless, let's not shy away from the bare truth. Having your career life in order can act as a significant magnet. Whether it's scaling the heights of the corporate world, nurturing your personal business venture, or ardently pursuing your passion, hitting those high notes in your career life demonstrates your determination, your drive, your unwavering ambition, of course, your capability. These are all admirable qualities that can instantly make you an attractive prospect. But let's be clear, success isn't just about the accolades or the financial rewards. It's about personal growth and development. It's about setting goals and working tirelessly to meet those objectives. It's about overcoming challenges and learning from every setback. About showing resilience, perseverance and unwavering determination despite the odds. It's not just about you, but also the positive impact you can have on others. It's about inspiring others through your work ethic and dedication. This demonstrates not just your individual strength, but your ability to uplift and motivate others too, qualities that add another layer of attractiveness. Success in your career does not happen overnight. It's a journey. It requires constant effort, commitment, and a certain level of tenacity. It's about balancing your personal life with your professional life, nurturing relationships while meeting work deadlines, taking care of your health while burning the midnight oil. It's about pushing boundaries, stepping out of your comfort zone and constantly challenging yourself. Ultimately, being successful in your career shows that you're driven, ambitious and capable. All qualities that make you pretty darn attractive. All right, let's switch gears and talk about being helpful, gullible and easy to be manipulated. You might be thinking, wait, what did she just say? Yes, you heard me correctly. This might sound a bit perplexing, but let's delve a bit deeper to understand what I'm trying to communicate. Being helpful is an admirable quality. There's no doubt about it. We are taught from a young age to assist others, to be there for our fellow humans in time's need and, generally, to incorporate kindness into our daily lives. But here's a caveat, dear listeners. Sometimes, our eagerness to lend a hand, our intrinsic desire to be likable and our unwavering commitment to being kind-hearted can be misconstrued. It can make us more susceptible to manipulation from those who lack our altruistic intentions. Be hard to digest, but the reality is, there are individuals who utilize the kindness of others as a means to their ends. They prey on the gullibility, naivety, and the willingness to please of individuals like you and me. There's an important distinction to be made here. What we're discussing isn't about dissuading you from assisting others or promoting selfishness. Not at all. It's about understanding the line that separates kindness from becoming an easy mark. It's about finding that delicate balance between being accommodating and being assertive. 
It's about ensuring that your intentions to help others not leave you vulnerable to manipulation. So my dear listeners, the moral of our story today is that it's essential to find that sweet spot between being helpful and standing up for yourself. Striking a healthy balance between these two aspects is not only beneficial for your mental well-being, but also crucial for maintaining your self-respect and dignity. We're now going to tackle an interesting aspect, the concept of being of some use. Yes, I understand that this phrase might initially sound a bit harsh, a tad bit stringent. However, I implore you to hold on to your judgment and let me explain further. Consider for a moment the individuals around you, those who you deeply admire and wholeheartedly up to. Have you ever thought about why you respect them so much? There's a strong probability that it's because they're contributing something meaningful to your life, isn't it? They are adding a certain degree of value, a depth of meaning and worth to your everyday existence, enhancing the quality of your life. This could manifest in various forms. It might be through the simple act you chuckle, brightening up your otherwise mundane day with their sense of humor. Or perhaps they are the ones you turn to for advice, sharing their wisdom and experiences to guide you through the maze of life. Maybe they are just there by your side, a steady presence like a lighthouse in a storm, when you're struggling and need someone to lean on. Being of some use in this context translates to being a person that others can rely on, can trust implicitly. This is not simply about utility in the traditional sense, but about being a source of comfort, guidance, laughter, and support for others. It is about stepping forward and making a difference, no matter how small, in the lives of those around you. So ask yourself this question, how can you make a positive impact on the people around you? All right, let's add another point to the list, being authentic. This isn't just about honesty, but also revolves around embracing who you are, your strengths, your weaknesses, and everything that truly makes you, you. Remember, in a world filled with copies, being original is your greatest. It's about not letting societal expectations or stereotypes dictate how you should behave or who you should aspire to be. Being authentic means accepting yourself without any pretense or facade. It's about understanding that you're not perfect and that's okay. Everyone has flaws and it's these very flaws that make us human, unique and interesting. It's about standing tall, walking your own path and not being afraid of diverging the crowd. Authenticity is magnetic. It attracts people who appreciate your unfiltered self and admire your courage to be real in a world that often rewards conformity. Just like bees are drawn to honey, people are naturally drawn to authenticity. It's also about expressing yourself freely, letting your idiosyncrasies shine brightly. Whether you're quirky, nerdy, or a little bit weird doesn't matter. Be you unapologetically. Wear your passions, interests, and eccentricities like badges of honor. Let the world see your true colors, your true self. Embracing your authentic self is not only liberating, but also incredibly attractive. It sets you free from the chains of external validation, liberates you from the confines of societal expectations, and makes you a magnet for genuine connections. So don't be afraid to let your freak flag fly and show the world who you really are. Whether you're quirky, nerdy, or a little bit weird, embracing your authentic self is not only liberating, but also incredibly attractive. Well, folks, there you have it. A deep dive into the compelling conditions that might make people irresistibly drawn towards you. This fascinating journey begins with one's ability to present something unique to offer. It could be a skill, a perspective, or knowledge that they may find beneficial. It's this uniqueness that sets you apart, making you a beacon of attraction in a sea sameness. Further, success in your chosen career path can deeply influence this attraction. It's not merely about the financial stability it reflects, but more about the dedication, hard work, and perseverance it symbolizes. It speaks volumes about your character, your courage to fight odds, and your unwavering determination to achieve your goals. Being helpful, yet not easily fooled, is another significant factor that adds to your appeal. 
It's about striking a balance between generosity and wisdom. Being of help is admirable, but allowing others to take unjust advantage of your good nature is not. Understanding this delicate balance is the key to maintaining respect in any relationship. Moreover, being useful, not just in terms of providing solutions, but also in emotional and intellectual dimensions, can make you attractive. It's about being a pillar of support, a source of inspiration and a companion in their journey of growth. Lastly, and perhaps importantly, is the power of authenticity. To be genuine is to be loved. This is why it's crucial to remain true to who you are, rather than trying to fit into someone else's mold. Your authenticity is your ticket to attracting the right kind of people into your life. Thanks for tuning in. And until next time, keep being awesome and spreading those good vibes.